Hello, my name is Noemi Gonzalez, and I am honored to be working for Activision Blizzard. The company has had a lot of success with the popularity of the games that have been published such as Call of Duty, Guitar Hero, Skylanders, and Overwatch. Activision Blizzard has been able to go ahead and enter the esports, and just alone with Overwatch, they have made over $1 million in revenue, and for the game of Overwatch, they have over 30,000 million registered players for the league. Now with esports, we also have our audience, which we could see right here. In 2015, the enthusiast viewers was 120 million viewers. And the occasional, we had 115 million viewers, bringing our total to 235 million viewers. Now, from 2015 to 2017, we see an increase from 235 million to 385 million. Now, this number will only go ahead and increase. And by 2020, it has been estimated that 589 viewers will go ahead and be into esports. Now, our company has done well with the esports in Overwatch and Call of Duty. But we want to go ahead and introduce the zombies part of the Call of Duty into esports. Going to go ahead and bring in, to bring in the Call of Duty, the zombie part, will go ahead and be an investment of $2,161,000. Now in the esports, we see teams playing against other teams or individually individuals playing against other individuals. Usually it's either fighting or shooting, but with zombies, introducing it into the esports, it will have a different technique, which the leagues will go ahead and be two to four players, and they will play separately on two different maps. The level of difficulty will be the same, the map will be the same, the number of zombies that will come out in each round will be the same. Now, for the league to go ahead and win, it will be the last one standing against the other leagues that are competing with that league. For the wages, we have broken it down into the developers, the shout casting, and also the behind the scenes employees. For the developers, their part is to go ahead if there is any glitches in the system to go ahead and fix it for the tournaments to go ahead and take place. They are also in charge of making the teams come to life for each individual league. Now, they are also in charge of creating new maps for the leagues and also to adjusting the difficulty and as mentioned before, the number of zombies that come out in each round for each league to have the same opportunity to go ahead and win. Now, for the advertising, that will go ahead and give us an opportunity to go ahead and advertise that we are in search of new leagues for the zombie game. And also includes the rights to go ahead and put the zombie game into the esports. For the booking, that's gonna be our expense that we're gonna have to go ahead and give so we could go ahead and book where our tournaments are gonna be held. Now the payouts, that's another expense we're gonna go ahead and have to pay out for the teams that go ahead and win the tournaments. And that's gonna be Right now, we're looking at six tournaments for the year, which will have $100,000 per tournament payout. For the merchandise, that's the merchandise we're gonna go ahead and create, so we could go ahead and sell online and also at the tournaments. Our first tournament for Black Ops Zombies will be held on January 2019. Within the 2018 year, we will go ahead and have our developers finish the game to be able to be prepared for our 2019 tournament. This will also include in booking the reservations that we need to go ahead and have our tournaments. This will include also our advertising to go ahead and get our leagues prepared, which will be in search of five leagues for just the first six months of the 2019 tournament year. For each league, we will be selling at $20 million, bringing in a revenue of $100 million just by the leagues. This will not include our merchandise revenue. In conclusion, Call of Duty Zombies already has a large enough audience to go ahead and bring it into the tournaments. As we see here, our expenses are lower than what we will be bringing into our revenues with just creating teams for the tournament. 
Thank you for your time.